welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys a homeschool haul with a lot of art supplies and things that I wanted to have my house full of during the summertime and during like the beginning of our homeschool year. Um, so I went to the Dollar Tree, I got a few things I think you guys will like, and then I went to Target and I got some things on Amazon. Okay, so I turned the camera around and I wanna share with you guys everything that we got. I will be doing more in depth video on the books that we got for science for our family subjects so i will do a whole entire video on our family subjects and it will either come out before this video or after this video so i'm going to share with you guys first um the one thing i'm really excited about it's called air dry clay and i've seen this everywhere it's by crayola and we got white so that we could paint it any color that we want so we have to get the acrylic paint so it sticks really well unless you guys can suggest another paint for me let me know down below we can make cups or bowls and I think you just form it and then it dries and you can paint it and my daughter wants to do maybe like earrings or dog earrings something that has to do with dogs of course um, another thing I got at Target is Mondo Llama I don't know if that's how you say it you can tell we've used it <laughs> my kids are actually doing like this huge project they're gonna put this like a uh, circus on with their grandma's dog at a park with their friends and they've been like painting tons of stuff so it's so dirty but this is a washable paint and it comes with all these colors and they mix some colors to make brown and all that stuff but these colors are really really pretty it's like ten dollars a target i think um yeah, I think it's about $10, but we love these paints. They're really, really pretty. I like the fact that you take the top off and squeeze it like a ketchup bottle, and um, it's not too much coming out at all at once, which I really, really appreciate <laughs> a lot. Um, so I don't even have to do it for them. They do it for themselves. Here are some Crayola paintbrushes. They are an upgrade from the Dollar Tree, ones that we've gotten in the past, and I just figured they needed some more fine point um, paintbrushes. And before I forget to mention, I bought a rolling cart. It's a white rolling cart and it's very um, heavy duty. It came in a very small box from Amazon and we love it. I just don't like the fact that it looks unorganized, but I'm just going to have to let that go. It doesn't look Pinterest worthy, but that's fine. I basically bought it so that my kids could have freedom to, you know, take over our Eden kitchen because we have a very um, old table that they get, get all messy and they can paint and, you know, do what they want to do. Um, so I have that available to them with all their supplies, all their paints and everything so that whenever they feel like they want to be creative, they have that outlet right there for them and they don't have to worry about getting the dining room table a mess or anything. We've been loving it so far. I have it hidden in the corner of our eating kitchen. So when you walk in to the kitchen, you don't really see it, um, but it's been working out really great. The kids have been painting a lot, as you can tell. Uh, so if you're looking into getting a rolling cart, I would highly recommend it. I also got some glue. I think I found like extras that I had, but this is always good to have because I don't like it when we don't have any and then I can't find any glue in the house. So I bought this at Target as well, along with twistable Crayola color pencils. Now, I know a lot of people either like them or they don't like them. We like these and we like the crayons, but my kids use the twistable pencils all the time. The only like con about these is that if you like drop it from a really high table really hard, the um, inside might come out, which is really annoying, but there's more pros to this than cons. Like that's the only con. Hopefully your kids are not dropping them all the time. If your kids you know, are prone to drop things a lot, then maybe don't invest in this, but this has just been a lifesaver. You don't have to sharpen them. It's just awesome. We use both colored pencils and this, but they use this probably more than our colored pencils. And we do have a sharpener, but this is just so convenient for me. I love this, and I also love the crayons. This is a sketchbook that I got at Target for my daughter. It's a 75 sheet. It's 12 by 9. They're perforated. They're premium drawing paper. The texture of the paper is really, really nice. And I like the cover because it's really nice and strong and durable. I also got sketchbooks on Amazon a few, probably three years back. And we just, like my daughter just finished using all of her sketchbook. So she uses a lot of it for like drawing with um, Art Hub for Kids on YouTube. And then sometimes she'll do pastels or watercolor 
or paints um, but really she draws most of the time and here my son has like a quarter of it left so I didn't get him one so we just got one for her. A little mini haul from Dollar Tree. I wanted to share these with you. These are cute little um, 5 by 7 note cards and they're definitely better quality than I would say like the Jot notebooks. The, the cover is a little thicker on the back and the front and this is what it looks like in the inside. The lines are really um, really bold and then there's perforated lines but my daughter has this in a basket next to her um, bed and she writes everything in it. She loves it. She picked it out for herself so I thought I would just share this little Dollar Tree um, item. This one is also for her but it's for me to write her um, things that she needs to do for the day. So she puts this little pencil in here and um, you can see like it's um, there's this, this like pink line down the middle. Sorry, you can see a shadow. There's a pink line down the middle. And so you can put like four days of schoolwork. I've done that here and here. And then she just checks off, you know, language, math, reading. If she has like extra things to do, I'll write like a little line, a couple lines here, and then she'll write German Shepherd paper she needed to take care of. It kind of keeps us on track. I do this like, I, since we've gotten this, I've done it for a few weeks or so. I don't know if I'm going to continue with it, but I think even for her to jot down her subjects and check them off, it's just nice to have so she can like be more independent. Also, I got these sheet protectors. I am, you know, doing their homeschool portfolio for this year. So we have lots of like loose papers and art projects and things for history and science that I want to have in a little sheet protector so it protects it and that it doesn't get lost. Let me know in the comments down below as I'm doing this, I'm just remembering, do you wanna see me um, share with you guys how we do our homeschool portfolio and how I set it up? I know a lot of people have said that it would be helpful for them, so let me know if you guys want me to do it. I'm gonna get into our Amazon purchases and these I will be sharing with you guys more in detail, flip through so you can see the inside of them when I share with you guys our family subjects because I have way more family subjects, but these I got on Amazon. So I got be the vet seven dogs and cat stories to test your veterinary knowledge my daughter is really into animals now so i thought this would be good there's several volumes of this and then i think did i get this on thrift books i thought it on amazon um i don't know if i share this with you guys i don't think i did so this you could get on amazon i know it's available this i got on amazon it's vet academy and um it's just a really great like vet book for kids and i'll do a flip through on this and it has stickers it has posters and it has like lots of information to become a veterinarian so i thought that this would be perfect for her to look at in the summer and to go with her curriculum for next year and like i said if you're interested i will definitely go inside of these and share with you guys the inside when we do our family subjects so i will be doing a flip through on that also i got dk smithsonian the dog encyclopedia it's ginormously huge and um it's just beautiful they have lots and lots of you know great um, chapters about caring and the breeds um, and the pictures are awesome. My daughter keeps this next to her bed and she looks at it all the time whenever she has her papers that she does. She writes on dog breeds with her friend um, and they have this book club so she uses this sometimes so she loves this. She also wanted a book about cats so I got this used on Amazon DK Cat Encyclopedia so same thing has tons of tons and tons of information on breeds um, and then I also got the horse encyclopedia for her because she was interested in learning about horses so these three huge books are for my daughter but my son loves looking at them as well um, I also got for my son who is totally into cars um, this DK Smithsonian cool car book now I thought it would be like this huge book <laughs> but it's a miniature book but I love it because if you open it up it gives you lots of information and pictures and views of the front and the back of the car the top view some of them they give you like the pictures of the inside of the engine and there's like little snippets of information um so once he starts reading a lot better he can read about any like supercar or cool car that he's into oh, and got ocean um another dk book that i thought would be interesting for him and for my daughter but more for my son and then I got this really cool book that I think is so awesome. It's a little thinner. It's not like a ginormous book, but it's called Car Science and Under the Hood Behind the Dash Look at How Cars Work. So this is lots of science, but it has to do with cars. And my son's going to be in second grade and he's just obsessed with cars. So I thought, 
why not give this a try and read it to him and sit down with him and go through some of those things um, so he can know more about the insides of cars. This is the DK Smithsonian Space book and um, this is a brand new one and I thought this would be great for him too. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you guys join here at Mama Schmoo's Homeschool Reviews and if you want to see more videos like these or more things about our curriculum that we're going to be using next year, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys soon.